In this tutorial, you will learn how to find and use the Opposing Viewpoints database to search for sources for your argumentative assignment. This database includes many different types of sources, but our goal for this tutorial is to locate viewpoint essays. A viewpoint essay is written in order to present a particular perspective or argument for or against a particular issue. First, we need to find the database. Start by going to the Pitt Community College website. From the navigation menu, click Campus Life, then choose Library. If you are already logged into Moodle, you can find a link to the library homepage from inside your Moodle course. Scroll to the very bottom of the screen, and under the heading Links for Students, look for the library link. Once you've opened the library homepage, click the databases link. To find the Opposing Viewpoints database, you can scroll through the list of databases or click the letter O at the top. Click the link for Opposing Viewpoints. If you're using a computer that is not on campus, you will be prompted to log in before you can use any library database. You will need to enter your MyPitCC username and password before you can open and search Opposing Viewpoints. If for some reason your MyPitCC login isn't working, you can use the library chat service to ask for a temporary username and password. You can access the chat box on the library homepage 24 hours a day. Okay, let's go back to Opposing Viewpoints. Opposing Viewpoints gives you a couple of options for locating resources on a topic. You can use the Browse Issues page to see a list of topics, or you can enter keywords in the search box. Let's look at option one and use the Browse Issues page. When you click a topic link on the Browse Issues page, you're taken to a page that includes an overview essay with background information on the topic, along with many different types of resources available on that topic, such as articles and videos. To see a list of viewpoint essays, click the link for viewpoints. Another option is to enter keywords into the search box. The search feature is more helpful if you already have a topic in mind. When searching opposing viewpoints, it's better to start with a simple search. Stick to one or two keywords related to your topic. Never type a complete sentence into the search box. Here's an example. If I want to find viewpoint essays that debate whether or not ghosts are real, I would simply start by typing the word ghosts into the search box and then click the search button. When using the search box, the search results page will look a bit different than it does when you use the browse issues option. If your focus is finding viewpoint essays, go ahead and click the viewpoints link. As you skim through an essay, you may come across different words that you could use in order to search for additional essays on the same topic. Let's try searching for the word paranormal. You can scroll back up to the top of the screen, enter a new word or phrase, then click search. As I start typing the word paranormal, a drop-down menu appears. In the list, I see that the phrase paranormal phenomena is in bold font. This lets me know that the database already has a topic page dedicated to paranormal phenomena. Click paranormal phenomena in the drop-down menu to go to the topic page. Again, you'll see an overview article and different types of resources related to that topic. If you don't want to use the topic page, you can just finish typing the word paranormal in the search box, then click the search button. No matter which option you choose, keep in mind that if you want to see a list of viewpoint essays, you need to click the viewpoints link. Scroll through the list and click an article or essay that interests you. You can usually tell what the author's perspective might be just from looking at the title. Once you click a title link, you'll be able to read the full text of the essay. Most viewpoint essays begin with some introductory information about the author and give you things to think about as you read. Once an essay is open, there are options for printing, downloading, and emailing the essay. At the very top of the screen, you will see a cite icon that will provide you with MLA and APA formatted citations. You can copy and paste the citation for the essay into your Google Doc or Word document. 
Make sure that you carefully check each citation that you copy. Is there often grammatical or formatting errors that need to be corrected? If you need examples of how to cite something, you can always go to the library homepage, click Citation Help, then look for the type of formatting that you need. In this case, I'm going to choose MLA 9th edition. I'm trying to cite an article, so I'm going to click Articles, and then I get examples of how to cite an article from a database. If you have any questions, ask a librarian for help. From the library homepage, click Ask. On the Ask a Librarian page, you will find many options for ways to get help from a librarian.